Well, hello there, guys and gals. The Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide, and this time, we are getting it all in Adios. This was developed and published by Mischief, and is available for usually £14.99 slash $17.99 in the US, but of course, always check sales frequently and hope that the Game Pass gods will allow it on there soon. So, we play as Mr. Pignose, who, ironically, is a pig farmer. Okay, his, na his name isn't actually Pignose, but it is just for this walkthrough. Uh, but the main premise of the game is we allow the mob to dispose of bodies through our pigs, and we're trying to oink up the courage to tell him we don't want to do it no more. <laughs> but anyway, we do have a bunch of chores um, to do, basically, with our hitman friend, and you either have a great ending or bad ending, depending on choices. Now, achievements-wise, for the most part, a lot are missable, and it is, and basically all you got to do, it's all to do with doing these little side quests. Uh, and that is the main objective of the game. Although saying that, nothing is truly missable though, as you can either restart the scene if you mess up, or you can just chapter select after the game is done. Now either way, this is going to take us around an hour to complete. So, with that being said then, let us begin. Now, one thing I highly advise is to go into your settings and turn the subtitles on. It just makes things a lot easier, as of course there's going to be a lot of talking. And we are going to smash through the dialogue by pressing the left bumper. So when you've done that, you'll see me doing it just a little bit. Forget to do it now. Uh, but all we can do is press the select button. I still call it the select button. Screw what uh, everyone else tells me to do. Close it and then press the left stick there to get up. So that is how we do that first very, very extremely bit. Right, before speaking to this guy. So this guy is going to be talking to us, our little hitman friend here. When you get the option to um, answer back, do not do that. Instead, what we're going to do is feed all of this meat, which definitely isn't human. That looked like a... Oh, that looked like a femur. Um, that looked like a butt snatch. Hmm. Anyway, so all we're going to do is pick up all of this questionable meat. Definitely not that, a wiener. Definitely not human meat at all. Uh, so, again, you can see the dialogue options, don't say anything yet, we're just going to pick up the meat with the X button, throw it with the right trigger, because that is what we will do for the majority of the game, You'll to pick something up or to interact with something, press the X button, and then press the right trigger to put it down, put it on. Now, me thinking I'm a big cocky, big so-and-so right here, I thought all the meat went in the pen. As it turned out, I missed every single one except one, so... Yeah, if you could try and be less moronical, like me, um, <laughs> pick up the meat, you, know, you have to actually go to the um, the fence there to throw all the meat in. And basically, when the pigs have eaten all of the delicious meat, which, again, I mean, it basically goes into your chicken and pizza land, so, well, we should be used to it by now, shouldn't we? But there we go, as soon as the pigs... Oh, oh what's, that? what's that on their chin? Looks like they got little uh, wieners on their chin. That's goddamn hilarious to me. Oh, man, pigs pigs be thick. Uh, but anyway, just keep waiting. Oh, butt crack. We've already seen our first butt crack, and we're barely three and a half minutes in. So as soon as we get the butcher achievement, now you can answer whichever one you want. The dialogue options in this game do not matter at all. But again, if you just keep pressing the left bumper, you'll smash through all of the dialogue, and keep pressing um, whatever dialogue option you prefer. Doesn't... Does not mean a thing. So, I mean, to be fair, man, if I had pigs and the mob wanted to do this, bro, it's easy money. Cops, cops ain't gonna come to me. I'll just be like, <laughs> I didn't know. They're the mob. My name is Mr. Pignose. I just look at pig noses and clean up their crap. Which doesn't sound very, uh, very nice, does it? So, here we go then. I'm just putting these subtitles to show. Uh, basically, it, this is literally just to show you how quick we can just get through it, and uh, otherwise it can be slightly a little bit confusing. But anyway, this bit is now done, so make sure you've got the butcher, butcher achievement, and then we can say goodbye to the pig nose. Say goodbye to my friends. Pepper Pig is dead. Sorry, kids. Pepper Pig got sliced into bacon this morning. <laughs> anyway, pick up the fork there with the X button. Yeah, Sadie was before she, you fed her to the pigs as well. Then eat the eggs with the right trigger a couple of times, and then just uh, spam the left bumper to get through all the dialogue to get this scene to play out. Um, nothing else is going on right here. Apart from that egg looks like a whole bunch of vomit, really, but still, we've eaten worse, haven't we?
So this is the sort of main area of the game now, we're coming up to like an open world section and the first thing we're going to do is just head into the door, ignore the numbers for now, also you can sprint by clicking in the left stick, but when you go in, go into the right room imme immediately, which is the living room, press the X button here on the piano, that's going to give us the piano man achievement, for some reason this guy decides to block us in, get out the way slender lanky streak of Yes, thank you very much. Jump on the set, he's there past him. Go up the stairs, go into the room on the right. Now, this part takes a while. I'm not sure why, but it does. So, you see the record in front of us? Pick it up with the X button. Um, press the right trigger when you are next to this vinyl record player. And then what you have to do is just leave these all play out. So, we're going to get an achievement for completing this one first. Um, I say complete in for listening to the whole track. Now, there is no sound here, just in case copyright decides to, you know, <laughs> bend me over and do me a good one. So, so you're not going to hear anything for the next couple of minutes, because it all is just musical. But there are basically four records, and there's also four tape players. Behind where we are, there are four tape players which we uh, need to play. So you need to play all four records and all four tapes in full. Sadly, you cannot just... Um, Play them and take them off and play them and take them off. You have to listen to them in full because, well, what better way to stretch out a, <laughs> stretch out a short game than making you listen to Cry Up for um, <laughs> around five or six minutes or so. Anyway, when this is done and uh, the obviously record stopped, press the X button to get rid of it and just drop it wherever you're pleasing. And then do it with the next record. So there is the next record uh, just directly basically right in front of you right there what we can also do is do the tapes as well so just behind right to the left to the left of the door pick up the tape as you can see there and then just press the right trigger there to put it in the deck now they're going to be playing at the same time but of course it just makes life a lot easier playing them both at the same time rather than having to uh, play the records and then the tapes and everything's just a bit longer so again just wait around for now there's the second and third tape um, and the fourth tape is behind you, next to the bed. So, and for whatever reason, I kind of got this glitched in a good way. So I didn't actually have to listen to all four records. Uh, I only listened to this one and the achievement audio file unlocked for listening to every record in the house. Um, of course, uh, hopefully it comes up for you, lovely, and you only have to listen to two out of four. But if not, there is the third one right next to the wardrobe, so you can pop that one in. And the fourth one is just behind us, on top of the um, on top of the things right there, on top of the, you know those bloody things that you hang stuff on the shelves. So there's the other two record players. Now grab the next tape when that one has come out and you've got the achievement. Put that one in the deck, and then just wait for that to finish. Um. Now the tapes spit out automatically, so you'll you will hear it. It is like these little audio cues where it's sort of <laughs> that's not a tape uh, coming out automatically, but you know what I mean. Uh, so again, obviously, if you haven't got the audio file achievement yet, and it didn't glitch for you in a good way, just play the other two records, play the rest of the tapes, and uh, well, that's it. <laughs> that's it for this bit. And again, as you can see, just in the background, the fourth tape is uh, right next to the lamp. And, yeah, that's, that's about it.
So let's take a little closer look at our Hitman friend, is it? Let's, uh, you can crouch by pressing the B button as well for some reason, and oh my god, what are those? Those are guys that, after every rugby night out, um, especially in uh, England especially in England and Wales, they are the uh, type of shoes that you'd wear. No socks, it's a disgusting look. Got not much confidence in there, it looks like kind of a small package you got there, buddy. Uh, don't look at me while I look at your wiener. Ah, oh, there you go. Oh. Oh, God. I thought he was getting ready for something then. Oh, Jesus Christ. Anyway, uh, let's uh, let's stop looking at the guy's uh, shoes. Wiener, we'll just take a look at his face. Man, he is creepy. He is pure... He's like Slender Man if you ordered him from Wish. Hey, what's up, piss nugget? Man, that is one... That is a face. And it's almost to the end, almost to the end. Yeah, it does take a while, this bit. But eventually, as soon as you listen to all four records and all four tapes, it didn't glitch for me in a good way this time, but the tape head achievement will unlock, and then we can open the door, go down the stairs, and run outside. Run to the right, and basically we're just going to this sort of farm shed on the right. We've got a couple of uh, drinks achievements that we're going to be grabbing now. So again, left bumper to smash through the dialogue. Now we can press the right bumper to get in. Pull the cord, of course, this time, so we can uh, get... Wow, this is just fantastic. Not bad for a pig nose farmer. So, smash through once again all of the dialogue. They do talk a lot. Maybe if he actually put some socks on, then... Uh, <laughs> well, I talk to him less. Okay, so... Get the root bear soda can right here. Again, just press the X button on, uh, on the bear. Root bear. Pick it up. And now what you need to do is actually throw it to our Hitman friend. By, again, by pressing the right trigger. Uh, but if you... You have to do it in a specific spot. Because apparently his reflexes are worse than a dead cat. So we'll try again then. So grab it. And then press the right trigger to throw it. I mean, maybe my, my throw wasn't uh, just fantastic there. Uh, so try and aim it at his head. That'll do it. <laughs> so try and throw it at his head. And somehow it'll land perfectly in his hand. So... What we need to do now is get his uh, favourite drink, apparently, which is Slam Cola. Um, but for whatever reason, this may happen, and it probably will happen to you. That I, I assume if he's already got one drink in his hand, you can't throw another one to him. So what you're going to have to do is restart the scene, which you'll see me doing. So if you can't throw him the next drink, restart the scene. You're going to start right back here, but that's fine, because again, the only two things that we did in the house were the miss, uh, missable side achievements. So you don't actually do any side quests to progress the story. So go back to the shed, slap the door in, boosh, straight with the noggin, and then instantly get the slam cola out. Make sure it says slam on it, and then just do the same thing. Throw it to him. Oh, that would have been a good catch, but it landed on your head, bud. Not a very good hitman. In fact, I, f I fancy my chances against this hitman, to be honest, if, he's, uh, if he can't even catch a goddamn drink. And again, this one it right here is Root Bear, so make sure that you've got the Slam Cola one, which is like a grey-y, grey, kind of silvery grey, sort of grey colour. Aim it at his head, and there we go. Finally, we've got those two out of the way. And there we go. So, man, you are... Got, you want a sandwich to go with that drink, buddy? I feel like you'd probably uh, benefit from it. It looks like you're about to keel over and pass out. Anyway... We will move on, we'll start doing some of the side quests now. Again, if you want to have a look at your objectives, just press the select button, you can do that. And now we're going to head the sort of furthest point away for now. Uh, so, keep going through the gate, and right here on the left is where we are starting, and this is the goat house. We're going to do the goat section. 
Um, again, this is one achievement that may potentially glitch out on you. For me personally, I had no problems. So hopefully, it'll be the same for you. Uh, but what I do do is do do. What I don't do, or what I actually do do in this scene, is um, I just leave the cutscene play out. So rather than skip through the dialogue for now, we'll just wait um, just until his goats come in, and we'll just go from there. So enjoy whatever the hell's going on. No, uh, just wondering, why goats? Goat milk. Ah, there can't be much profit in that. Oh, there's enough. Besides, I had you. Have. You still have. As I've said... I'm no longer interested in that particular revenue stream. We're the ones who sever ties. And you don't want us severing ties. I believe I made myself clear. You know, <laughs> I feel like we've had this conversation a couple of times now. And you still don't seem to get that I'm done with this line is just going to look really silly at the end of the day. You were asking me about goats. <sighs> yeah, goats. I don't like them. They like to play. They'll eat just about anything. The milk's an acquired taste, but I've always liked the cheese. Meat's good with the right curry. A friend taught me that a while back. So, you like them for the utility? I like them because they're playful. Want to get started? Hmm? Started? Milking. Right, so here we go then. We're going to sit down on the stool. Goats are going to pop their way in. And all we're going to do is just... Well... We're going to milk some goats. Because why not? Why not in a game? So we're going to feed our pigs some human dead bodies. And we're also going to get some milk goat. By the way, that's not milk. Just letting you know, if you if you ever drink goat's milk... Man, that... That, that schnoz ain't milk, man. Very comfortable. Suppose not. Well, now that we're seated, all you gotta do is grab the teat with your thumb and forefinger. And pull? No, 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 don't pull. Just sort of rhythmically squeeze with the rest of your fingers. Gently pushing the milk out. Ah, like this? <laughs> Just like that, yes. All you gotta do is do that till the goat's out of the Eventually, though, I can't be asked listening to the goddamn conversation, so I think it's right about now you can start blasting through the dialogue. I think it should be absolutely fine now. So, blah, blah, blah. I've really got bored at this point. Now we can actually shoot him. So, again, aim, sort of aim for his head. Press the right trigger two or three times. <laughs> Enjoy the old uh, noises as well, because that's always good for some entertainment. <laughs> And uh, eventually we're going to start talking again. But yeah, you should only be you should be able to shoot him two or three times as soon as we get up. And we are done with this section. The achievement should unlock. Give it a second or two. There she blows! Right on target. So we've just covered our hitman friend in some kind of goat milk. Which of course isn't milk. Uh, but he doesn't know yet that yet. So, go to the right as soon as we um, get out of here. We're heading back towards the house. We're actually going in the house. Go to the left side of the house. And you can see the countdown. Um, that's what we're going for. We're going to be playing Horseshoe next, which is, you know, throwing a horseshoe onto a, a, a big uh, needle. Not needle. What are they called? You know exactly what I mean. Um, so you don't have to be specific with anything. You don't have to do anything. You, literally, all you've got to do is just pick them up and throw them. And you will always, you should, should always score more than Piss Face Slenderman. Even though he looks good there. So from now, we'll start immediately. As in right now. Hello? Okay, there we go. So pick it up. Press and hold the X button and then just release it. Honestly, it doesn't really matter where you go. I just keep sort of aiming for the middle. And eventually my score, somehow, keeps getting bigger and better. And that's the life when you're, you, when you're a pig-nosed pig farmer. You just get all the luck, all the babes, and all the money. And all you do is just smell like pig crap for the rest of your life. It's, it's, it's a good life. It's simple. Apart from the pig crap.
So when we have run out, there's nothing left to do but um, watch him. And then as soon as he throws, go, your mom's going out with Squeak. Ah, <laughs> see, put him off. And I hope somebody gets that reference. I really do hope somebody gets that reference. Quite an obscure one, that one. But it's uh, from uh, it's from Basketball, for anyone that doesn't know, from the guys who made South Park. So, uh, moving on, you should now get the achievement for... Wh Don't look so proud, bro, you lost. Okay? Sniper. Although I... W <laughs> Sniper should have been the goat milk... <coughs> goat <coughs> milk achievement for, th <laughs> for shooting goat milk at the guy. That should have been called Sniper anyway. As soon as we're done here, we're going back... Sort of towards the front of the house. Now we are going to the right hand side, which basically the reason we didn't do this one first is because we have to restart the scene three times, oh, another two times after this, to get um, another two different achievements. So there'll be three achievements um, just for shoveling up this disgusting, beautiful crap right here. And the first way we're going to do it, we're just going to skip through all the dialogue, and we're just going to let our hitman friend shovel all the fertilizer dung, the dung bag, straight into the wheelbarrow. We are not going to pick up, we're not going to do anything. We're just going to wait till he finishes, and then we can push the wheelbarrow, achieve an unlock, and we can restart the next scene. Might as well get him to work, although then again, by the looks of him, something's going to snap. Just going to get... So when you get the prompt to, we will be able to push the wheelbarrow, so press the right trigger and the achievement should automatically unlock there. Lazy Bones, which actually, that achievement is me all over. Um, so again, you can check the objectives, just make sure that they are all done. And again, that's the reason why we've done the sort of horseshoe one first. We've just done all the objectives, so it's sort of saved and we can restart the scene and come back here. So again, press the X button to pick up the shovel, right trigger to uh, scoop up the old dung bag and put it in. This time around, we're going to put all of the fertilizer dung, dung beetle crap in there. So just leave the dialogue play out as it's going and just smash it all in. And again, press the right trigger when you're done to push the wheelbarrow. And life will be as handy as dump dandy. Pick up that shovel over there. We'll shovel it in, wheel it out, dump it, and we're good. And you do this every day. Mm-hmm. Most every day. It's my routine. Shoveling shit. So. Go ahead and shovel that dump, buddy. Anyway, that'll be the second out of three wheelbarrow dung crap achievements. The hard worker. So now we can restart the scene again. This time, what we're going to do, we're only going to be specifically putting in five. So immediately grab the shovel and then just count to five. Come on, say it with me now. One piece of dump. Two piece of crap. Three piece of shit. Four pieces of fertilizer dung heap. And five pieces of anal beads and poop. Um, whatever the last one was. But now we've done five. We're just going to leave our hitman skinny ball, skinny ball friend, to um, uh, put in the rest. As soon as he's done, we can actually just uh, crack on with the wheelbarrow and crack on with the game. So when we start pushing it, 
literally all you've got to do is just press up on the left stick and that'll get us to the next destination. And that'll be all three th out of those three achievements that are now done. So just enjoy the... Um, I mean, it's a farm. There's nothing really to look at except mud and crap. And oh my god, where are my legs? I've got no legs. The pigs ain't my legs. God damn it. And we'll automatically, uh, <laughs> anyway, we will automatically get rid of that bit. Now we can just head for the final piece of stuff that we're going to do. So we're going to head through the gate, go to the right, of course. And all we've got to do is wait for the horse at this point. You can try and throw a bunch of apples in, but we've actually got to wait for him to finish, which is just typical, really. Come in, come in, we don't have our day. Well, pigs, I guess. Goats, too. Some fellas have chickens and cows. That's all well and good, but... What's the point of a horse? Horses are God's most beautiful. Now, you know they say an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Yeah, no, what, what it's for is if you keep eating apples like this horse, you're going to get a... Me well, everyone knows what a horse's thing is. Yeah, and how ginormous it is for whatever particular reason. They just keep eating apples all day, and that's why. So if you eat a whole bunch of apples a day, uh, it's a guarantee. And that is medically, scientifically correct from myself. So just go ahead, press X to pet the horse, give him another apple, and that is going to end this scene. And watch that horse walk away, I said. And then we're going to end up by the tree. Tree. And here we are. You know what this is, a uh, tree? Well, have you ever seen a tree like it? A, a tree's a tree. Remember all them roasted chestnuts at Christmas? Oh, sure, sure. I mean... I kind of figured. Been by often enough to see the chestnuts myself. Why? Is it special to you? This is an American chestnut tree. Oh, hey, Saul. Uh, he's telling us about his American chestnut tree. What? <laughs> you remember? Hey, you've got. Uh, you. So that was short, cut, cute, sweet, and entertaining. They talked about a tree for another couple of minutes. Anyway, this is another it's, it's another easy bit. It's just that we're going to smash through all of the dialogue right here. What we have to do then is just get him the drop light no, after popping the hood. So pop the hood from the driver's side, again using the right trigger. Then as soon as he asks about it... Well, you are the worst hitman then. If you're right, I assume if when we drop the hood light on the uh, hood... Right there again with the X button, I assume if you want to be a good hitman, you've got to have good eyes. Because if you keep missing your target, it's just, there's just no point. You're going to spend all your money on bullets. Well, you suck, man. Anyway, smash through all the dialogue, blah, 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 blah. Say sure. And then what you need to do is just go to the driver's side door, press the right trigger. That is going to finish this bit and get us the mechanic achievement as well. Yeah, sure. Word. Well... Now, we're going to get two achievements in this little section, but there's one you can do without actually doing anything. Um, and I'll tell you exactly why now. So as soon as we get the shotgun, look at our hitman friend and press the right trigger on him. That's going to get us the nice try achievement. There it is. Now, what he's going to do, well, as we smash through the dialogue, what he's going to do is just basically say... Um, he, he wants to start throwing plates, and what we have to originally do is shoot those two plates without missing. But what we can do is just skip through the dialogue quickly as hell, quickly, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going, and eventually he <laughs> he gets to this angry little rant, and he doesn't actually pull anything. He doesn't actually th uh, throw anything for us to shoot, so just keep skipping through the dialogue as quick as hell. I actually thought I'd messed it up, so that's why I tried restarting the scene, but as you can see... We didn't have to do anything. So as long as you've smashed through that dialogue as quick as he can, we actually beat him to the point where he shouts at us rather than throwing plates in the air. Um, otherwise, it's just a case of looking up in the air and then pressing the right trigger and just restart the scene if you miss. Um, but hopefully that tiny little tiny little bug or whatever that might be comes in handy for us again right there. So Another little short and sweet cut scene. We've just told him to, um, you know, go fudge yourself, go fudge his mama, and all that jazz. 
And now we're going to get into the two achievements. So what we're he uh, heading for is the kitchen. This is not the kitchen, as you can probably see. Um, so all you from this room just go straight in front of you. But for some reason, I'm going the long way and go uh, around the dining room route. So in the kitchen is going to be our telephone. There it is, just underneath, uh, just next to the cud uh, cover uh, cooker. Bloody thing. Press the X button there where it says Bill on the sticky note, and then immediately hang up. So as soon as he presses the dialer there, press uh, either X or right trigger on the telephone. Sorry, there was a bit of an edit there because I messed up the first time. But as soon as he starts answering, as soon as he answers and says hello, press, I think it's the right trigger to put it back down. That'll get you the cut call achievement. Now what we can do is um, try to phone Bill Dog again. And this time it's going to go straight to answer machine. He hates us. <laughs> Maybe we um, accidentally... Killed his buddy, and now he's in one of my pigs' poop. That'll be unfortunate. No wonder Bill hates us. Anyway, as soon as that's done, you should get the second achievement there. Now we can just click on the Edith sticky note, pressing the X button. Another little bit of dialogue is going to happen with Big Edie right here, and then that is that for this particular section. But there, you should have got two achievements, and life is um, mwah, blamissimo. We're getting through it. So when you speak to Big Edie and not Bill, apparently, because we hate each other, what we're trying to do now is find the back door. Now, generally, back doors in houses will be at the back of the house. So come on out of this room and go to the left room in this sort of cloak room. Uh, funny enough, it is at the back of the house, which is just incredible. Mega, mega incredible. So we are going to go through the gate straight in front of us, go to the right, and we just have to um, take a look at the horse coming towards us. Only this time, I mean... Let's just take a look. Press the B button to crouch, and you can see that this horse has been eating a lot of apples lately. Jesus Christ. I am jealous. Um, feed the apple the horse anyway. Um, I need to get... Jesus, even when he turns around. I need to get that image on my head. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, let's turn around. We are basically going to go back into the house now. As you can see, we've got our little uh, objective marker to go to. And what we need to do is go to the cellar, which was just on the left, right underneath the stairs right there. So go ahead and go to the back wall, turn directly around, and then press the right trigger to go fishing. Now, this fishing scene is nice and easy. Um, basically, all you have to do is just press the right trigger to get your cast out. Now, don't do what I'm doing here. I'm pressing the right trigger again to... Pressing the right trigger again to pull it back, which obviously we don't need to do that. Cast out your line, and then keep an eye wherever you've cast it. As soon as you see a little little animation where the water sort of splashes about and everything, that's when you can start holding the right trigger again, and then you'll have this little line tension uh, meter there. And obviously as soon as that goes red, you'll have obviously broke it. Um, but we'll need to be catching about six or seven different fish, which again is going to take another three minutes. So as you can see... I add that little water animation, press the right trigger, and obviously don't let the white line go away. And there we go. Put the fish in the cooler by pressing the X button again. And again, it's going to take around six or seven different fish to be able to actually catch Admiral Smell Bags. Um, but I do actually edit it out just a little bit, just for a little bit of time, that's all. So it's probably worth pausing the video in just a minute. And there we go then. So as soon as it says catch Admiral confidently, this should be the one. I'm not sure if this is like a random event or if you may get it quicker than I do. You may get, you still may get it quicker than I do. Um, but for me, it took around six or seven attempts. Um, so that'll be another achievement for us. Nothing to do here except blast through the dialogue. Your dog, who is pretty much dead, probably got fed to the pigs as well. We're just having a little, a little chat with him because apparently we are alone and off our nut by now. Delicious. Right, so what we need to do now is cook a whole bunch of meals. 
and it could be complicated but it's actually really not so go down to the cellar go to the right and you're going to see the shotgun here on our little desk our little workbench sorry go back up again right trigger to get out turn around to the left we go into the dining room so jump in here, go to the other side of the table and press the right trigger. It may be a bit finicky this bit, but you should get an option to uh, press the right trigger to place the shotgun. Go into the fridge, press the X button to open up the fridge. Have a look at the bag on the bottom right hand corner. That's going to get out a Baroto. X button to open up the microwave, right trigger to throw the burrito in, and then X button again to turn on the microwave. Sorry, sometimes the right trigger and X button may swap and you, for whatever particular reason. Um, but just keep doing that, as soon as it's uh, finished, X button to open it up, pick up your burrito, go and place it on the table, and then just go ahead and sit down in the chair, and apparently, this is our final meal, after the other three that we've got to do. Um, but, I mean, it'll be interesting, be very interesting, as we restart the scene by the way, so we have to do all that again, except we have to do it with ingredients, but it'll be very interesting to know, what your final meal would be. If you had to have a final meal, if you knew, like, oh, alright, I'm going to die or something, what would your final meal be? Very interesting to know. So we grab the shotgun, we go back into the uh, dining room, place the shotgun down, go into the kitchen, and then on the right-hand side, there is a knife. Pick that up on the chopping board. Um, right trigger to chop the two potatoes here, and then uh, we can chop the all of the ingredients on top. So all four of the carrots... I mean, very neatly placed vegetables. Uh, chop the onion and chop the steak that is next to it as well. Very easy. So, pick up the steak, put it on the frying pan on the right-hand side so that can start cooking. Then with the potatoes, uh, pick that up, put that in the pot. Again, pressing the X button and then the right trigger. So you should have two potatoes in there. This one onion, add that to the pot. And then the four carrots. So this is for the first bit. We've got the steak cooking. So you should have the four carrots, the one onion, the two potatoes, the steak cooking. And basically what we're doing is making a curry. So uh, we can grab the stock from the left-hand side, just next to the sink. Add that. And any one of these, medium, hot or mild. Apparently since it's, our, <laughs> since it's the end, we might as well just kill ourselves with ass explosion as well. So I grab the, uh, um, the hot one. Doesn't matter which one you pick though. And then you can pick up the steak, right trigger, and then interact with the timer. That should now get you the curry. And it, what it should look like is this, with a bunch of spew rice on it as well. It looks it looks bloody nice though, but place that on the table, sit on the chair, and the achievement should automatically unlock. If it doesn't look like that, then um, you've either missed an ingredient or something like that. It's usually that you've missed an ingredient if it doesn't look the exact same. Or you don't get the achievement. But again, if you don't get the achievement, that's fine. We're going to restart this shiz, man, and go again. So, down the stairs. We're going for the shotgun. Why are we um, eating with our shotgun? Or is that the farmer American way? That's just who they've grown accustomed to. Maybe. Anyway, back into the kitchen after we place the shotgun down. Uh, chop up the two potatoes. Chop up the steak, the onions, and the carrots. Again, chop up the potatoes, onions, carrots, and steak. Grab the, um, not the fridge, but grab the steak and start cooking that one again with the right trigger on the pan. Grab the onion, pop that in the pot. The carrots, all four of them bad boys, pop them in a pot as well. I, I gotta be honest, these, these first two meals look absolutely just blemissimo, generally. So that should be all the vegetables there. So that's, and then grab the peas as well from the top, or from the middle shelf, sorry. So... Just there is where the peas were. Sorry, I've done that quite quick. Pick up the two potatoes. Pick up the uh, steak as well. We're going to put the steak in. And lastly, pick up the stock, the left-hand side in the box there. Add that one in and then press right trigger on the timer again. And that should be yet another achievement for us. I mean, look at that. does look fantastic, actually. I'm starving now. But anyway, do the same. Put it down. Sit down. Eat it. Blamissimo once again. And again, as soon as the achievement hearty unlocks, we're going to restart the scene. Um, this one's a little bit easier, but it can be slightly confusing. Um, so, again, go grab your shotgun from the cellar. Well, I like my shotgun. I don't want to think I... It's my right to shoot somebody in the head for no reason if they enter my premises. Yeah. 
Anyway, what we can do, go in here, do not pick up the knife. We're going to pick up the steak, whole steak, and start cooking that. And that does look good, apart from all the missing flavor on it. Um, pick up one potato, again, unchopped. So pick up one potato, put that in the microwave. And we'll get that to start cooking. And what we can do is actually pick up the peas as well. So pick up the peas. We're not actually doing any vegetables, just add that to the pot. Then we can pick up the steak, add that one to the pot. And then we can pick up the uh, baked potato, which uh, replaced Kenny's heart in the South Park movie. So as soon as you put all those three, three of those in, press the right trigger, cook the timer, and we will get the driest looking, saddest prison meal you'll ever see. A literal lump of pea vomit. Um, a potato that just looks... I mean, I've seen happier dead people. And a steak which, again, that'll probably be the best part on it, even though it's as uh, flavoursome as my bowels, which is not very. So, as soon as we sit down, we will get the achievement for meaty. That should be the last out of the meals now, and then all we have to do is just wait. And again, this ending will be based on your choices. If you just followed along with the video and just kept picking the same dialogue option I did or whatever, you'll probably get this ending, where... Uh, it, it, he's coming. I, I promise he's coming. Oh, there he goes. So he ends up shooting us dead anyway. So we've done all that just for him to shoot us dead. Up your guts, pal bag. Or you can get another ending, which I don't know what that other ending is. So there we go then, guys and gals. That should now be uh, 25 out of 25 achievements. And it would... That was a nice game, but I do... I have, To be honest, I'm a bit gutty. Like, that, that could have been more than just uh, show a man around a farm type game. But still, I thought it was enjoyable nonetheless. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. But I, help. I do hope you enjoyed the game and the guide as well, and that it helped. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend. All the huge. Um, don't forget to check me out on socials, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. And again, a huge massive shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. And everyone who interacts with me on the daily as well. So thank you so much, guys and gals. But I'll see you in the next one. Big love.